Today we're bringing Taco Bell into your house and veganizing it. Let's go. Hey y'all, welcome to Make It Dairy Free. I am Larisha and today we are going to be making one of our favorite dishes from Taco Bell that we had before we went vegan. We are going to be showing you guys how to make a crunch wrap supreme, but of course we're veganizing it. We've done a few copycat restaurant recipes so far. You guys love our copycat Chick-fil-A chicken biscuit recipe, but this time we are taking you straight to Taco Bell. Now I'll be the first to admit that I probably spent way too much time at Taco Bell when I was in college, but you would get like tacos and cinnamon twist and a drink for like two bucks and at 2 a.m. it was absolutely perfect but that's probably a little too much information but once I got a big girl job I could start affording more fancier things at Taco Bell like Crunchwrap Supremes and Mexican pizzas and sometimes if we wanted to splurge we would get both anyways one time Andrew and I got this genius idea to try to make them at home and not only were we shocked at how easy it was but we were also shocked at how much cheaper it was to make it at home if you don't know what a Crunchwrap Supreme is it is basically a large flour tortilla with some seasoned and ground meat and then you layer it with some nacho cheese, a tostado shell, lettuce, tomato, sour cream, then you wrap it all up and grill it on both sides and there you go, you have it. So today we are gonna be showing you how easy it is to make the vegan version of it and I've done enough talking so let's get straight into the recipe. Okay, so the first step that we are going to do is make our vegan nacho cheese sauce. We have an entire video dedicated to making this so you can click to watch that if you need. We use butter beans as our base to make this allergen friendly, but also because it just makes things so creamy. Some vegan butter for richness and consistency, nutritional yeast for a cheesy flavor, but sneaking in some B12 there too. Jalapenos help give us that spice and all the seasonings and remaining ingredients just make this the easiest, fastest, and best tasting vegan nacho cheese you've ever had. Blend it up for a few minutes and you're good to go. High power blenders are what's preferred, but other blenders and even a food processor is possible with a little more work. Now it's time to get into making our meat mixture. For the meat mixture, we are going to start by peeling and chopping our garlic, followed by chopping an onion. We are using a sweet onion here for a good flavor profile. You are going to add some oil to a skillet and then add your chopped onions to the skillet and begin to saute them for three to five minutes until they have softened. Then you are going to add in your garlic and some of your taco seasoning and give that a good stir together. If you want the most authentic Taco Bell taste, then try using their brand of store-bought taco seasoning. But honestly, whatever taco seasoning you have on hand will also work. You may want to add more or less depending on the spice level of the taco seasoning package that you are using. And then you are going to pour in your vegan meatless crumbles and the remaining taco seasoning. We are using frozen crumbles here, but you can use a vegan ground meat as well. Use your favorite brand to really enjoy this meal. Additionally, if you prefer not to use a processed meat substitute like this, you could swap this for beans, tofu, TVP, mushrooms, and more. Let that cook for a few minutes according to the package instructions, and then it's time to assemble things. Grab a large flour tortilla, the burrito size, and then one fourth of the pan meat mixture to the middle of your tortilla. You are then going to add about two to three tablespoons of the prepared nacho cheese sauce that you set aside a few minutes ago and then top with a crunchy tostado shell. If you don't have a tostado shell, you can crisp up some corn tortillas in the oven for a few minutes. Check out the blog post so you can get those instructions. Top that with lettuce, tomatoes, and vegan sour cream. Now add a six inch flour tortilla shell on top. If you have an oversized burrito shell that can wrap up when you fold, then you can skip this part, but most people don't. Another option would be to break the tostado shell to be smaller so the larger shell will fold close without the adding of the extra flour shell. Fold a small piece at a time up and over until you have reached back to where you started. Then you are going to carefully flip over and place that side with all the folds down into a nonstick skillet. Turn the heat onto medium and cook for about two to three minutes or until golden brown. Then flip and repeat until the other side is also golden brown. Repeat with the remaining mixture if you are making it all at one time or you can let it cool and store in an airtight container until ready to make more. We don't advise that you make the crunch wraps ahead of time unless you can eat them right away because their tostado layer will get soggy. If you do, an air fryer is the best way to crisp up again. Serve these with the remaining nacho cheese sauce, salsa, or more vegan sour cream. Make sure to check out the website where we have a post on how to make a copycat Taco Bell Mexican pizza as well. Thanks so much for watching. We hope you enjoyed this video. 
We'd love if you could give the video a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel if you aren't already, and leave us a comment with what restaurant or fast food recipe we should veganize next. We hope you have a great day and remember to smile.